Howdy, howdy, folks. Once again, this is Donnie, and I'm coming at you with another lesson about Linux process management. And in this lesson, we're going to look at how to set the priorities of our processes on the system. Now, that might not be something that you'd be interested in if you're just a normal desktop user, just a, a casual desktop user, but you might be interested in it if you are a Linux administrator or if you want to learn how to become a Linux administrator because sometimes you might have to set the priorities of the processes on your servers in order to make everything just play nice together and just make your system run nice and smooth, okay? So anyway, we are going to do this by using two different utilities. We have the nice utility, which we can use to set a process priority when you start the process. And we also have renice, which you would use to change the priority of a process that's already running. Now we're going to do this by way of setting niceness values. So you see here we have our niceness values can be either positive 19 up here or negative 20 down here or anything in between, any whole number in between. I just, I'm too lazy to type all of those numbers, okay? So, <laughs> so this is what we got. But anyway, uh, zero is the default niceness value for our processes when we start them, unless there's some code in the process that, or in the program rather, which sets that niceness value to something else. And if you ever get into doing Einstein at home or something like that, you'll see that the, uh, that the default niceness value for them is set way, way low, all right? Uh, but most of the time, the default niceness value is zero. That's right in the middle. Then up here at number 19, now I know you're always thinking, oh, well, that's the highest priority, right? No. That is the lowest priority. Don't ask me who came up with this. I don't know. It's completely counterintuitive, but that's just the way it is. And then negative 20 is the highest priority. So the more positive you get, the lower the priority. And the more negative you get, the higher priority. Again, completely counterintuitive. I don't know who came up with that, but that's just the way it is. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead here and get rid of this. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use a little utility called XIs in order to demonstrate this. Now, XIs is probably not installed on your system already. But you can get it on Fedora, at least, by doing a sudo dnf install xorg-x11-apps. Now, I don't know what the name of the package is on other Linux distros, but on your Red Hat type distros, your CentOS, your Fedora, that's the name of it. Okay? So, anyway... Once you get that installed, you can do XIs like so. And let me bring the XIs over here. And looky there. I move my cursor around. And the eyes follow the cursor. Now you've got to be really, really careful with this program. Because it is highly addictive. Before you know it, you will have sat here all night just watching those eyes go round and round and round and round and round. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> I got to snap out of this, okay? See, it's even affecting me now, right? But anyway, this is X eyes. Now, down here in this window, we're going to do PS, and we're going to look at an option that we did not look at in the PS tutorial. That's a dash L which gives us what we call a long format. And this will give us, or show us rather, some other fields that we did not see in the PS tutorial. And we do an uppercase C, and then the name of the process here, 
or the name of the program is XIs, like so. So you see here, we have, instead of the username like we saw last time, we have the user ID number now, and that is me, user ID number 1000, so that belongs to me. And then we have the process ID number here, so we see that this is process ID number 15453. And we also saw something else that we did not see in the previous video. This is the parent process ID. In other words, this process was spawned by another process. Now, we can go ahead and just uh, find out what that parent process was just by doing this. We'll, do, we'll grep that, and we will grep for one, better yet, 3772, like so. All right, so there is our process ID number right there. And we see that this is just the bash process, just the bash shell. That's all this, right? So anyway, it's all good there, right? So anyway, what we're going to do now is, let's get this back up. All right, so you see here, also, this is the one that we're interested in right now. This is the niceness value column. And you see here that XIs is indeed running with a niceness value of zero, which is the default. Okay, so anyway, let's say that XIs is hogging too much of our resources might be hogging too much memory, too much CPU time, whatever, right? So what we want to do here is lower the priority of this process. So what we'll do is we'll come up here and we'll do nice XIs, like so. And then we'll come down here. And you see that our niceness value is now a positive 10. So that's about halfway down the scale as far as lowering the priority. And notice too, we did not specify a, whoops, we did not specify a niceness, ah, cut that out. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. We did not specify a niceness value up here because if we don't specify a niceness value, that default value will always be 10. All right, so let's try something else. And let's say that we don't want the niceness value of 10. We don't want that default niceness value of 10. Let's do nice. And we'll specify, oh, let's say that we lowered the resources uh, usage too much, right? So we want to give it a lower priority, but not as low of a priority as what we did before. So we're going to give it a priority or a niceness value of five. Now, one little trick here about the nice utility is that the niceness values have to be preceded by a dash. So when you see that, that is not a negative five. That is a five that is preceded by a dash. Okay, so there's XIs again. Come down here. And indeed, we now have a niceness value of 5. All right, now, let's say that our scenario is the opposite. Let's say that we need to give more resources to the XI program because it's running kind of sluggish, right? So it's running sluggish, so we want to give more priority to it. So in that case, we're going to give this a negative number. So we do nice, and remember, our niceness values have to be preceded by a dash. So we do dash, and then a negative 5 to set it to a negative 5. Now watch what happens. Watch carefully when I hit the enter key. Whoa, permission denied. Okay. 
So that is because you can lower the priority of a process with your normal user privileges. But if you want to raise the priority of a process, you have to have root privileges. So we'll do this again, except now we're going to we're going to do sudo. Alright, so there we got it. It runs. No error message this time. So we do this down here. And, oh, you know what I did? Ah, sorry about that. I forgot to do both dashes. Okay, so it's got to be a dash and then the negative five, all right? So now we can come down here. And indeed, we now have our negative five for our niceness value. All right, so anyway, that is the nice utility. Pretty easy, right? Not hard at all. All right, so now let's go ahead here and do XIs again, except now. We come down here and we look at the niceness value and we should see it back to a niceness value of zero, which is our default. So let's say now that we want to change this niceness value to something else. So in other words, this time, instead of zero, we want to lower the process priority a little bit because the other the other uh, processes on the system are getting starved for resources. So let's lower the process priority here of XIs a bit. So we'll do renice. Now with renice, there is no default niceness value. So you do have to specify some number for the niceness value. So let's say we want to do 10. Now notice there, no dash. And this is one of those weird things about Linux, which I've never figured out. And that's that if you use the nice utility and want to specify a niceness value, you have to precede that niceness value with a dash. But if you use re-nice, you do not precede that niceness value with a dash. I have no idea why. The only explanation that I can think of is that the people who wrote all these different utilities just didn't bother to sit down and talk to each other so that they could make things consistent. That's the only explanation I can come up with, all right? But anyway, uh, this one too, uh, we're also not going to specify the name of the program. In this case, we want to specify the process ID number. So we see their process ID number is 15798. So that's going to be 15798. Oops, 8. There we go. Like so. And you see that we got some feedback. Old priority of 0, new priority of 10. And indeed, we do have our niceness value of 10 right there. Now, let's say that we need to. Oops. I need it my, there we go, need to see the process ID number. Okay, so now let's say that we've lowered the priority of this process a little bit too much. So we've lowered it to a niceness value of 10. Let's say what we want to raise that priority a bit to a niceness value of 5. So we do re-nice, 5, 1, 5, 7, 8, and whoops, again, permission denied. And again, that's because we can lower the priority of a running process, but we cannot raise the priority of a running process unless we have root privileges or pseudo privileges, okay? But a normal user can lower 
the pro priority of a uh, running process anytime he wants to. He just can't raise it. So, and that even applies if you're changing it to a priority that's still lower than the default priority. So, five is a lower priority than the default priority of zero, but because we are raising it from the current priority of 10, then we still need pseudo privileges. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we now have old priority 10, new priority 5, and we can verify that with this. Okay, so yeah, nice this value of 5. Just what we want to see. And then, of course, we can also go ahead and raise the priority up to some sort of a negative number if we want to have it higher priority than the default of zero. So we can do re-nice. And in this case, since we don't have to precede our nicest values with the dash, we just have one dash here in front of the nicest value to make a negative 10. And again, process ID number 15798, like so. And so, yeah, new priority now, negative 10, old priority was 5. And there we go, negative 10 for the niceness value. All right, so anyway, that's pretty much it here for the nice and re-nice utilities. I hope you enjoyed the video. And there will be more to come in this series if you do, so be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.